Hey guys, what's up? Team 3D Math. Showing you guys how to solve this system here. You have x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals 2x. To solve simply means to make this whole thing equal to 0, to then factor and solve for each x individually. Alright, to make this equal to 0, what do you do? You want to remove the negative 2x because 2x minus 2x gives you a 0. It makes this whole thing equal to 0. So you do minus 2x here. Now remember, you have an equal sign here. So whatever you do on this side has to go on the other side. I'm not going to give you the boring analogy as to why that works. But you guys, if you watch the videos, you know about the little hat Megan explanation. So minus 2x, minus 2x on this side also because these numbers have to be equal. This gives you a 0, and you're going to rewrite this as x minus 2. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me, I don't want to complicate. Before you even do this, let's multiply this across. There's two ways of doing this. You could do it the way I was going, but that's a little more advanced. I would say if you're a beginner to just multiply this across first, then make it equal to zero. So you have x minus two times x minus three. So it'll be multiply this across using fall or the other method I showed in another video. X times x is x squared. X times negative three is negative three x. Negative two times x is negative two x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. So this gives you an x squared negative uh, 5x plus 6. So let's write that up here. x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 2x. You could do it both ways, but I'd rather do it the simple way because I don't know who's watching. All right now you do your minus 2x on both sides. Let's put that here, minus 2x. This gives you a 0, so you're going to rewrite this as x squared uh, minus 7x. When you combine your like terms, negative 5x and negative 2x is negative 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. Once you're down to this stage, you're this much closer to your final answer. Now you want to actually factor. What number can you take out of all these? There's no greatest common factor, so you're going to do this. Is equal to 0. What number multiplies into x squared? You have an x and an x because x times x gives you x squared. Now, what two numbers multiply to positive 6 and add to negative 7? You could do it in your head or you can do it the way I do it. I love doing it my way. Um, it's a lot longer, but it's fun. First thing you're going to do is you're going to look at just number 6. Forget about the signs. Look at number 6. What numbers multiply into 6? You have 6 and 1 and you have 3 and 2. Well, I like picking numbers that are close to each other, so I like to so let's try 3 and 2. Then you're going to multiply these two numbers. 3 times x gives you a 3x. By the way, this is not going to work out, but I just want to show you guys the process. 3 times x is 3x. x times 2 is 2x. Is there a way to combine these two numbers and get a 7x? No, it's impossible. So, normally what I'll do is I'll switch the numbers around and try a 2 here and a 3 here. But that's also not going to work, but let's say I didn't know. So, 2... 3. So you do 2 times x is 2x, then you do 3 times x is 3x. Same thing, there's no way to get a 7x. So you're going to use different factors of 6. We're not going to use 2 and 3, so we're going to use 6 and 1. Alright, 6 and 1. 6 times x is 6x, x, x times 1 is x, 1x. One x. Is there a way to make these equal to negative 7x? Of course, negative 6x and negative 1x gives you a negative 7x. So now you look at the first number here which is a negative 6x so x times what sign of 6 gives you a negative 6x negative 6 here you have a negative 1x x times what sign of uh, 1 gives you a negative 1x negative 1 because if this was positive it would be 1 times x it would be positive x you don't want positive x you want negative x so that's how you get your signs and you could double check negative 6 times negative 1 does give you 6 and they do add up to negative 7 so once you have this, <clears throat> you draw your line down the middle. You want Remember, this whole thing is equal to 0, so you're going to sep separate it one side at a time. x minus 6 is equal to 0, and you're going to solve for x. And here you have x minus 1 is equal to 0, you're going to solve for x. You're going to add 6 here, too, because you want the x to be by itself. You want to isolate it, so you move the intruder. And what you do on one side, you do on the other side because of the equal sign. x is now equals to 6. Here, same thing, plus 1, plus 1, remove the intruder, x is equal to 1. Now, don't forget, the 2x that you subtracted, uh, we already took care of that. So, yeah, the answer is x equals 6 and x equals 1.
Thank you for watching Team 2D Mav. Subscribe and check out the other channels.